what if there's a piece of real estate that you could buy right now if you had the cash? Well, guess what? If you've been saving, you have the cash. Hey everybody, Scavenger Steve back here with you. And today we're gonna to talk about some basic concepts of scavenging. And I have an old friend here with me who's been a scavenger for a very long time. Not quite as long as me because I'm older than him. But anyway, I'm in the main conference room here at my Holiday Inn in San Antonio, Texas. And that gentleman right over there is the guy that I'm going to interview today. He's going to be my special guest. Okay, so we don't know where this is going to go, but we think we have an idea or two to pass along to you. And this is Niall. And say hello, Niall. Hello. He was in my one of my last videos and uh, decided he was very much uh, so worth interviewing one more time. And uh, we're going to talk a little bit about the basic concepts of scavenging, the budget, uh, instant gratification versus delayed gratification, a few of those things. We were just talking a minute ago, Niall, uh, you just said something that uh, really caught my eye or my ear. Mm -hmm. And it's a uh, concept that... Uh, I think some most Americans know in a general way, but you touched on something about uh, most of us, most people in America save very little, and we are one or two paychecks away from being destitute. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's not like 10 or 20 percent of the American public, it's like more than 50 percent, isn't it? It is. I, it, you know, the statistic may not be... Uh... Uh, up to date, but I know a year or two ago there was uh, a number going around that something like 80% or 90% yeah. of Americans uh, had less than $2,000 cash in the bank mm. in case there was an emergency or they lost their job or something happened. Right. And, you know, that's an amazing number because, uh, you know, there's of course all kinds of different socioeconomic levels, but, you know, this is one of the uh, and on the aggregate is the richest country on the planet and so there's a lot of people that make a lot of money so obviously the, the money's coming in but it's going right back out if they have the average person has less than two thousand dollars cash and, and nobody wants to be told now listen you need to hang on to more of your money you need to conserve you need to start a, a savings account that's the only way you can get ahead but it's not so much how much you put away, it's, it's the, the routine of, of uh, putting away a little bit every time you're paid, every time you handle a paycheck. And then that routine, it, it's a, it, it becomes a mentality and that mentality becomes a future. And if you can conserve a little bit now and make some investments and begin to see your investments grow, that's the whole idea of life, isn't it? When you get toward your golden years, somewhere between retirement and the time you pass away, known as the golden years, uh, you have something waiting for you, for yourself, for your kids, for your grandkids. You can take nice vacations, you can have a nice retirement income and so forth. But if you only live from hand to mouth and spend 100% of everything you handle, you're going nowhere just about as fast as you can get there. So we're trying to tell you to stop going nowhere, even though you don't like this message. Most of you are not going to like this message. We're trying to be honest with you, right? Uh, absolutely. And you know, Steve, uh, that savings, that nest egg, isn't just about having the nest egg or something for emergencies or even retirement. Um, think about it this way. If, if, if you have a chunk of money in the bank, and what if an incredible opportunity comes your way? What if there's a piece of real estate that you could buy right now if you had the cash? Well, guess what? If you've been saving, you have the cash. You know, what if there was something going on in the stock market that you recognized that said, well, if I did this right now, this is like a guaranteed return. Well, if, if you don't have the money, that's just a neat idea. But if you have some money in the bank, then you could do that if you wanted. So um, savings is really important in our society you know, for the past 20 or 30 years has really been geared against not doing that. And everything is uh, made easy not to do that. But, uh, you know, my, my way of doing it was, and everyone's different how you do it. Steve was more into budgeting and a certain amount per month saving. Mine was a percentage basis. If I took a job, you know, a certain percent, you know, uh, I would save 25, 30, or 30% of my net income, whatever that was. And whatever was left after that savings, that is what I then budgeted to live on. 
And I did that for years and years and years. And if you think we're crazy, the most people in Europe save about 12%. These statistics are a year or two old. Uh, 11, 12, 13%. People in Japan save on average of 18% of every penny they earn. But do Americans save far less than 5%. And those Europeans, every time I run into one, they're taking a world vacation. They're going around the world or they're going on a three or four week vacation. It's incredible. Americans don't have that much time to travel because they would run out of money after the first few days because they don't have savings. So we're not trying to beat up on you folks. We're trying to help you. <laughs> so we have a scavenging mindsets. He was born with one. I was born with one. We're trying to pass on a little bit of knowledge to you. Hope this has been helpful to some of you. You got to, this life is like crossing a big desert and you need to have some reserves of water as much as you can carry as, as you're going forward because you don't know when you're going to cross, uh, when you're going to come into that first oasis. So you have to sip that water little by little and keep the reserve as big as you can keep it until you hit that first oasis. Then you can just pour water all over yourself and, and splash it like a, drunken, like a drunken sailor drinks alcohol. And then you have to get tanked up again and you don't know where the next oasis is as you're crossing this big desert known as life. And I need to stop this now, I'm gonna run out of time. Hope you like this, this is Scavenger Steve. Say goodbye, Niall. Bye -bye. And hope you enjoyed this. And uh, uh, this is a Steve, Scavenger Steve, encouraging you to go seize a day and scavenge your way. Take good care now.